Friends, in this episode, we're going to share tips on what you can do to maintain your resident status. Now, you may have already watched our three-part series, and we decided we wanted to make a fourth video related to this similar situation of maintaining your resident status. Friends, welcome to Green Card Guys TV. I'm your host, John Ting. We represent clients in all 50 states of America from the East Coast to the West Coast, and we're here to solve your immigration problem, and we're happy to do it. Now, friends, getting down to, to the business of this uh, video that we want to share with you is that how to maintain your residence status. Now, whether it's the two-year card or the 10-year card, my friends, is that, you know, last video we talked about, or previous video we talked about, maintaining status in the terms of protecting your status, okay, related to uh, if you've been charged with a crime. Now, this video is about uh, for travel purposes because many of our clients want to travel outside of the U.S., and especially because of the pandemic, some, many people were not able to predict how long they were going to be outside the country. So if you are watching this and you're currently outside the country and, for example, it's been more than six months, it's not too bad. You, they're, they're, I do recommend that you prepare evidence to show the reasons why you've been outside the U.S. for so long because... You can't just use the reason for the pandemic because if flights had been still going on or resumed during those six months at some point uh, from your country, your your birth country, your country of nationality to the United States, then using the pandemic as a reason only is not good enough. It's not sufficient. So, you, for example, we've had clients who have been sick because of pan, the pan, or COVID-19 or they had to take care of a family member, a close family member in the in the birth country. So you have to provide very specific reasons and you just can't only just provide that reason. You have to provide proof. You need to provide some kind of evidence. So obviously if a family member or yourself has in, been in the hospital, of course, I number one, I hope you have uh, had the opportunity to, um, um, you know, go through recovery very strongly and, and quickly recover. You know, it's been a tough time for a lot of families. And, you know, we take a lot of things for granted here in the United States. And um, especially heat, AC and heat here in Texas. Um, but, you know, what I want to say is that, you know, if you had to be in the hospital or your family member hospital, uh, you know, medical records obviously would be the, you know, the easiest per se type of evidence. So, and, you know, but if you're in a situation where it's been more than one year since you've left the United States, then friends, we need to talk. You definitely, definitely need to have evidence ready. You need to have a statement ready, an affidavit or a declaration, however you wanna call it, basically a statement in your own words, what happened. And also don't be surprised if you have a flight and you come back to the United States at a US airport, international airport and customs officer says, Look, I'm sorry, you have been outside of the United States for more than one year. You need to file this form SB1. You might look at the officer and be like, what the heck are you talking about? If you want to save the headache of and the stress of traveling into the U.S. and being stopped and having to return back to the, you know, where you just left, then you want to go ahead and save that headache. You want to go ahead and file the form SB1, okay, this through the Department of State. This is basically to show to the government that you did not, you're trying to make the argument that you did not intend to leave the United States permanently and not abandon your resident status. Okay, that's the most important thing. So we're happy to save you time and stress. If you like our services to help you with that, we're here to solve your immigration problem, friends. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe down below, or I think it could be on this side. But also, if you're new, you probably don't know about this, but we're happy to offer it to you if you're a subscriber now and also follow us on the Facebook page or our group, which, by the way, here's our group name. If you're on Facebook, you can also uh, probably search Green Card Guys and it probably will show up, but our long name is Immigrant Guide and Support Living in America. I know it's a mouthful. Um, but anyways, you can, you're welcome to uh, take advantage of this free 15 minutes and call this number at 346-330-5888. Or you can text, especially if you're busy at work or just busy at the grocery store or whatever, 
text and provide us not substitute code green card guys and our cares team will be happy to contact you within 24 hours of a business day and friends if you're at a computer and you have more time please fill out the intake form down below it starts with ting law and again our cares team will get in contact with you soon friends we're always happy to share more information and news so if you have any questions please comment down below we're happy to try it we'll try our best to answer um, especially if it's a more general question if it's very very specific to your case then please contact our office or fill out the form down below in the description box until next time please continue wearing your mask Take